To understand how hair grows, let's look at the hair cycle and its different phases. Natural hair growth cycle has three phases. Anagen or growth phase, catagen or regression phase, telogen or resting phase. Cells of the hair matrix responsible for hair growth and receive nutrients from the capillary loop from dermal papillae. During the anagen phase or growth phase, the hair matrix actively proliferates new cells are continuously produced by active proliferation. New cells pushed upward and they differentiate to produce hair shaft. Up to 85% of hairs in normal scalp hair in this stage, after two to six years of anagen phase hair, follicle merges into cartagen phase. In this phase, matrix cells cease their activity, hair growth stops, base of the hair shaft migrates away from the papillary blood supply. You can appreciate how the hair follicle and dermal papillae begin to shrink in this phase. Finally, hair follicle detach from its blood supply. Cartagen phase lasts for two weeks. Up to 1% of hairs in a normal scalp hair in this stage. Third step of the hair cycle is the telogen phase, where the hair follicles transit from the cartagen phase to the telogen phase. In the telogen phase, where hair transferred into clubbed hair and migrate up in hair sheath, they lack root sheath. Resting phase lasts for 1-4 to four months, up to 10% of hairs in a normal scalp hair in this stage. At the end of the new anagen phase, hair follicles grasp the papillae and blood supplies reconnects. New hair grows, old clubbed hair falls as the new hair grows to the same depth as in the previous cycle. Hair length depends on the duration of the anagen phase. Short hair in eyelashes, hair on arms and legs have short anagen around one month. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye.